Sunset is such a special time of the day in the Kimberley. And so is this, sunrise, when the light is soft and the landscape is whisper quiet, apart from the hum of the mozzies and the sound of boats slipping into the Ord River to catch Barra. Matt, can I just say, I think the sunrise can be a bit of a challenge for people to get up. I'd agree with that to an extent, Chrissy, but the early bird catches the worm. So where is the secret spot? I'm, I'm assuming there is a secret spot. There is a secret spot and it's about 10 k's down the river. Yeah. Uh, no cameras allowed, but I'm going to make a special exception today. Definitely going to catch something today. Getting up early also gives you a few hours on the river before the sun comes belting down. And it will. Not that a trifling thing like a little northwest sunshine could ever bother our skipper, Matt Cox swapped his day job to run northbound charters on the Ord River 12 months ago. And I have a feeling he doesn't miss the nine to five. So Matt, tell us about fishing up here on the Ord, because everywhere I go, there seems to be barrel on every, every single restaurant menu. <laughs> How do I get it on my hook? Uh, well, first of all is to cast it in the water, oh. give it a twitch twitch, just a bit of time, patience and experience. The one thing you hope isn't biting when you're out fishing is one of these. We've seen 24 so far. Matt says there's a croc every 100 metres, making this a bit of a two-for-one tour. Have you ever caught a crocodile? Uh, a couple of times, yes. Uh, generally at night, they'll, uh, they're a bit more active. And yes, I've caught, caught a couple of little ones which released back into the water. Really? Yeah. Ever been bitten? Uh, no, no, I've never <laughs> been bitten. Matt's secret spot is a bit camera shy, it seems, so Matt's keen to move on to spot number two a bit of live bait to mix it up, and soon we're hidden in the shade right next to a very promising eddy, talking up the size of the barrow we're going to catch. So, now what's the biggest fish that you've caught here? Uh, the biggest fish I've caught is about uh, 112 centimetres, um, which is great, but if you're looking for dinner, it's not so great because there's a legal size limit, maximum size limit of 80 centimetres, uh, which is good because uh, basically, the, uh, the fish change sex to female. All, all fish under that are uh, generally male. It helps with the breeding. So, with a score of one catfish to our name, Matt's reputation is on the line. Oh, he's right. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my all gosh. Right, come on, Chris. You're doing well. No, you're doing well. Oh, doing well. Yeah, keep going. You nearly got him. <laughs> <laughs> that just took us hardly any time at all. Oh, wow. That Let's catch bizarre. more. Let's catch more barrows. <laughs> Let's do it. There's a nervous wait to see if my fish is in fact too big. But no, it's a keeper. So too is fish number two, less than 10 minutes later. A day like this with northbound charters is worth getting up early for. If you want a book, you can always contact the Kananara Visitor Centre. And my advice is get in quick. Once this footage gets out, Matt may have to take his phone off the hook.